Hi guys, today we're looking at tooth shear on the CT1140 K2 or WP2 related to work previously carried out on the high pressure fuel pump. This affects 2.0 and 2.2 liter HDI, Blue HDI and TDCI EU6 engines from Opel, Ford, PSA and Toyota. The special thing about these engines is that they have an oval crankshaft sprocket here and the high pressure fuel pump is flange mounted on the rear. Our Technica hotline has received multiple reports of tooth shear in the area around the crankshaft sprocket, usually after work has been carried out on the high pressure fuel pump. What's the reason for this? We have an oval crankshaft sprocket that sits loosely on the crankshaft to reduce power peaks in the belt drive. If the high pressure fuel pump is misadjusted, this combines to produce increased power peaks that result in tooth shear. So how does the high pressure fuel pump come to be misadjusted? Normally you set the timing belt to TDC at cylinder 1, after which you can disassemble the engine and remove the high pressure fuel pump before reassembling everything in reverse order. You need to take care here though, as you can't refit the high pressure fuel pump until you have finished setting the timing belt. Why is that? There is a separate marker for setting the high pressure fuel pump on the camshaft sprocket and a second marker on the inside of its own sprocket. There is a large warning symbol on the high pressure fuel pump that tells us to pay attention to the setting. Once you have fitted the timing belt in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and set the timing, it's the turn of the high pressure pump. There are two things you must watch out for here. Firstly, there is a setting position on the pump and secondly, there is a special setting position on the camshaft sprocket too. You now turn the crankshaft by another 75 degrees or so in its direction of rotation until the 6 mm pin can be inserted here into the hole. You now have to correctly align the high pressure fuel pump using the two markers on its sprocket and housing. Once everything's been done correctly, you'll be able to refit the high pressure fuel pump. So, if a vehicle comes to your workshop with this type of damage, always remember to check the high pressure fuel pump setting too. We've also compiled this information for you in a technical information bulletin. You'll find it in the PIC, the Product Information Center. I hope that all made sense. See you next time in the workshop.